Number 229. The third term of harmonic progression is 15 and the ninth term is 6. Find the 11th term. So tong problem na to ay harmonic progression. So ano nga bang harmonic progression? So similar lang siya sa arithmetic progression except inverse niya. So for example, meron tayong series ng harmonic progression. H1, H2, H3, and so on. So ang characteristics ng mga ganitong series, kapag in-inverse mo sila, for example, 1 over H1, 1 over H2, 1 over H3. Itong mga to, 1 over H1, 1 over H2, 1 over H3, arithmetic series yung mga yan. Ibig sabihin, meron silang common difference. For example, 1 over H3 minus 1 over H2, meron silang difference, di ba? The same lang siya sa 1 over H2 minus 1 over H1, kasi nga meron silang common difference. So, ganun lang ang harmonic progression. Inverse lang siya ng arithmetic progression. So, ang ginagawa ko kapag nagsasolve ako ng ganitong problems, ginagawa ko lang siyang arithmetic progression, or ini-inverse ko lang. At ganun ang gagawin natin sa problem na to. So, erase muna natin. Sabi dito, yung third term daw ng harmonic progression ay 15. So, yung H3 natin, harmonic progression, is equal to 15. So, ibig sabihin, kapag in-inverse mo to, ito yung A3 mo, or yung third term na arithmetic progression mo. So, yung A3 natin is equal to 1 over 15. Tapos, sabi dito, and the ninth term is 6. So, yung H9 natin is equal to 6. So, ngayon, yung A9 naman natin is equal to 1 over 6. Find the 11th term. So, hahanapin natin yung H11. So, para masolve natin yung H11, dapat masolve din natin yung A11. So, ganun lang ginagawa ko. Ngayon, isasolve ko na to using arithmetic progression formulas. So, gawin natin yan. So, dito sa series, given tayo ng dalawang terms. At hahanapin natin yung pangatlong term. So, dun sa previous na videos ko, meron akong diniscuss na formula ng common difference. So, yung common difference natin is equal to an minus am over n minus m. So, ito yung gagamitin natin sa problem na to. Dahil hahanapin natin yung common difference. So, una, gamitin natin yung a3 at yung a9. So, yung common difference natin is equal to a9, which is 1 over 6, minus 1 over 15, divided by, so, 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. So, 1, 6, minus 1 over 15, divided by 9 minus 3, 6. So, 1 over 60 yung common difference natin. 1 over 60. Ngayon, masasolve din natin yung common difference using any other two terms. So, try natin yung 11th term at yung 9th term. So, yung common difference natin is equal to A11 minus A9 divided by 11 minus 9. So, pwede natin equate to dun sa 1 over 60 dahil alam na natin yung common difference natin. So, palitan na natin to ng 1 over 60. So, yung A9 natin, alam natin yung value niyan, 1, 6. Palitan na rin natin. Since dito, A11 la unknown natin, masasolve na natin yung value niyan. So, A11 is equal to isa-isa yun natin. A1 over 60 times 2 tapos yung 1, 6 ilipat natin sa kabila. So, i-add natin yung 1, 6. So, meron na tayong value ng A11 which is 1, 5. So, alam na natin yung value ng A11, 1 fifth. So, para malaman natin yung H11, inverse mo lang yung A11. So, ang inverse ng 1 fifth ay 5. So, ito ang tamang sagot. At based sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. So, ganun lang kasimple. Ang unang gagawin mo lang, i-transform mo yung mga terms o yung harmonic progression sa arithmetic progression. Tapos, i-solve mo using arithmetic series formulas. Number 230. 
find the fourth term of the progression 1 half 0 0.2 0 0.125 So alamin natin kung anong klaseng progression to So itry natin i-minus itong mga to Tingnan natin kung meron silang common difference So pag minus mo yung 0.2 minus 0 0.5 or 1 half Ang difference niya ay negative 3 tenths So i-minus naman natin yung 0.125 sa 0.2 0 0.125 minus 0.2 So yung difference niya ay negative 3 over 40 So ibig sabihin, hindi ito arithmetic progression Kasi magkaiba yung difference nila Wala silang common difference Ngayon, itry naman natin yung harmonic progression So try natin inverse tong mga to So kapag inverse mo yung 1 half, magiging 2 yan Kapag inverse mo yan, magiging 5 Ito naman, magiging 8. So, tignan mo kung meron silang common difference. Yung difference ng 2 at 5 ay 3. So, the same din dito. 3 din yung difference nila. So, since yung inverse niya ay arithmetic progression, ibig sabihin, tong progression na to ay harmonic progression. So, mag-solve na tayo. So, since harmonic progression to, gagawin natin tong arithmetic progression. So, parang kanina, Inverse mo lang yan. Yan magiging 2, 5, at 8. And so on. So, ang hinahanap natin ay yung fourth term. Which is yung susunod sa 8. So, dapat malaman natin yung fourth term dito. So, since ang common difference nila ay 3, nag-add ka ng 3. So, mag-add ka lang din ng 3 dito. So, 8 plus 3, 11. So, para makuha mo yung fourth term ng harmonic progression, Inverse mo lang yung fourth term na arithmetic series mo ay 1 over 11. At ito yung tamang sagot, which is letter B. Number 231. Find the ninth term of the harmonic progression, 3, 2, 3 halves, and so on. So dito sinabi niya mismo, harmonic progression daw to. So ibig sabihin, kapag in-inverse natin to, Itong mga terms na to, magkakaroon tayo ng isang arithmetic progression at doon tayo magsasolve. So gawin natin arithmetic progression yan. Magiging 1 third, 1 half, at 2 thirds. And so on. So hanapin natin yung common difference nito. Common difference ay yung difference lang ng dalawang magkasunod na terms. So 1 half minus 1 third, subukan natin. So ito, Ang least common denominator nila ay 6. So, yung 2, para magkaroon siya ng 6 na denominator, kailangan mo multiply ng 3. So, multiply mo yan ng 3 over 3. So, 3 yung magiging numerator niya. Ito naman, kailangan mo multiply ng 2 over 2. Ito magiging 2 over 6. So, 3 minus 2 over 6. So, ang common difference nila ay 1 over 6. So, para malaman natin yung ninth term, since meron na tayong D is equal to 1 over 6, meron na rin tayong A1 which is 1 third. At meron na rin tayong N which is 9. Kasi 9th term. So ang AN natin or A9, A9 natin is equal to yung first term natin which is 1 third plus 9 minus 1 times yung common difference natin na 1 6. So compute natin. So, 1 third plus 9 minus 1 is 8 times 1 over 6. So, ang sagot dito ay 5 thirds. So, yung A9 natin ay 5 thirds. A9 natin is equal to 5 thirds. So, para naman malaman natin yung H9 natin, inverse lang natin yung 5 thirds. So, yung H9 natin ay inverse ng 5 thirds which is 3 fifths. So, dun sa choices, letter A ang tamang sagot.